an idea. I want to represent possibilities. Um, I want to represent magic, right? That you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be, mm -hmm. you know? And there's a, there's a, like there's a, there's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a, effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go move, around yeah. stuff, you know. So for, for me, I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is the the Alchemist, mm -hmm. uh, Paolo Coelho. And that's just I just believe that. I I believe that I can create whatever. I want to create if I can put, put my head on it right, study it, learn the patterns, and you know, I just, I, it's, it's hard to put into words, yeah. real metaphysical, esoteric nonsense, but I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. First of all, it's not mumbo jumbo, it makes sense, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, I think sales of the alchemist just went up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that book is, the sales, <laughs> sales just went up on, on Amazon.com right about now. Um, when that oh, yeah. happens, I'm going to call you and say, well, I went up. Really went up. Um, no, it's great. No, the, the, it's a quick read, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you can spell alchemist. <laughs> so they're joking about alchemy, right? Or they're not joking. They're, this is how it works. I want to just talk to you for a second. Because somebody, well, you know... There's going to be a lot of people that love Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and they're going to be like, "Why are you, why are you um, trying to bust out Will Smith?" It's not about Will Smith. It's about the this power of positive thinking movement. Become your own god. This is this is the new age movement um, at its finest. Okay, this is how they're doing it. You, if you know the Bible, you know that this is Satan's devil forked tongue coming into effect. And using people's emotions and their their success, their their need for success, their their desire for success against them, because you want to believe that positive thinking will relate in positive outcomes, and there's a good chance that a lot of what he's saying will come to pass. But if you don't know the Bible, it's going to deceive you. Okay, and I'm going to make some connections to alchemy. All right, he just says that he's a he's an alchemist. He admitted it right there in this interview. Well, what is alchemy? Alchemy is a the medieval forerunner of chemistry, based on the supposed transformation of matter. It was concerned particularly with attempts to convert base metals into gold or to find a universal elixir. Synonyms: chemistry, magic, sorcery, witchcraft, enchantment. You know, this is on Google. This is not, they have to expose themselves. And it's up to us to uncover the truth, to take it to our study and to understand what they're teaching. To someone who does not investigate anything, this is going to sound great. But then you've got to also take into consideration that these are doctrines of devils, okay? If you don't believe in devils or, or spiritual deception, then you're then you're deceived. Right now, you are deceived if you don't believe in it. That means you're still a part of it. You're still a part of the deception. You're still asleep to the world surrounding you and what they're trying to get you to do, which is to deny your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The only door, the only way to the Father is through Jesus. And they're... The Bible exposes everything they're doing. And if you know the Bible, you know what they're doing. All right, this is witchcraft. This is exactly like the Tom Brady interview. She's, uh, you know, Giselle is the power of intent, okay, that you speak it into existence. That's what witchcraft is, the power of your words. Be your own God, okay? 
all these um there's just so many time after time after time that was like i am god you know they they it's a uh it's as old as the garden of evil or the garden of eden where the serpent said to eve you shall become like god become like god if you eat from the tree okay that is what that's the oldest lie in the book and that's what he's saying saying he is being his own god he, two plus two is going to be what he wants it to be not what it actually is okay so this is this is the deception you know the bible says beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men after the rudiments of the world and not after christ okay you know this is this sums it up right here or the openly lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your treasure is there will your heart be also the light of the body is the eye if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O oh, ye of little faith! Therefore take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So what did the what did the Bible say? You know, a lot of people don't understand that. When the Lord woke me up, he took my job, he took my car, he took my he took all the pride of this world that I thought meant everything to me. All the things that I thought I had accomplished on my own and he tore it all down so that he can rebuild me in a way that where I depend on him. So I I <laughs> if you if you've never seen the Lord work, it's truly a miracle. Because I seek the kingdom of God, and then things around me just happen, okay? Like Will Smith needs to speak it into existence, you know, uses the, the power of positive thinking. I use the Lord God. I focus on the Bible. I focus on Jesus Christ. And all these doors open up, you know. Um, people don't believe that because they've never tried it. If you try it, because we, we, think, we're, we think we can do it on our own. And then we wonder why this life is so hard. We wonder why there's so much struggle, why we're so filled with anxiety, why we're on depression medication, while we're on all this antidepressant, you know, nonsense. We, we never fully surrender. And that keeps us from the glory of the Lord. That keeps us from his presence, from the Holy Spirit. And we've never, you know, actually truly depended on the Lord. We depend on you know, we need to go on vacation. We need these fancy cars. We need these big houses. We need a boat. We need all this stuff. If you're looking for all that treasure, that's where your heart also lies. You know, I don't have any wants or needs. I don't need any of that. 
I, because I, I've surrendered myself to the Lord, and I'm not better than you because of it. I just know now that that's all nonsense that I don't need. But these celebrities want you to want all this stuff. They want you to want fame. They want our kids to want fame, to want money. That's why every music video is about money and sex and drugs and all this stuff. They're programming us to live like them. You see, it's you don't think you're programmable, but we're very programmable. All we have to do is be shown something and it plants a seed, a seed that grows into a false doctrine, which separates us from the Lord. And people like Norman Vincent Peale right here, who's Donald Trump's preacher, by the way, who's a Freemason, was all about the positive, power of positive thinking. All right, this is an old doctrine, but it's still fooling people to this day. Okay, people who think they're successful and they're going to end up realizing they were the fools. <laughs> they were the ones who were fooled by this doctrine of, I can, I can create my own success by the power of positive thinking. There's, there's all these positive thinking gurus all over the internet. You know, it's, they're a dime a dozen. And if you're falling for this lie, then you're a dime a dozen as well. Because you just be another statistic who fell for the lie. You have to focus on the kingdom of heaven, okay? These people, you know, look at Norman Vincent Peale. Peel, look at these deceivers. They're subtle. The truth is so close to the truth that it looks good and tastes good. But it ends with... It ends with something bad, and you don't want to find out what that is because, you know, anyone who takes away from the Lord God and puts his trust in man, it says, those they will be accursed who put their trust in men. And this is a doctrine of men, a tradition of men, and against the word of God. It's not necessary to be born again. You have your way to God, I have mine. I have found eternal peace in a Shinto shrine. I've been to Shinto shrines and God is everywhere. Christ is one of the ways. God is everywhere. Norman Vincent Peale. You know. That's a true that's a true thought that many people have. Oprah has said that before. Okay? Now this is um look at this. This is another deceiver who I remember the when I worked for these uh, computer forensic uh companies in in Chicago, one of the owners who was a millionaire. He was all about Tony Robbins all about him just spent thousands of dollars going to tony robbins seminars power of positive thinking all that's all he's about right this is a doctrine of a devil and you know what i'm going to show you how the devil uses these people you know this is this should not be possible but tony robbins has probably has a spiritual power and a spiritual deception that allows people to walk on hot coals now if you've ever seen the spiritual world of magic they, they're capable of many different things. But I, I promise you, this is, this is pretty... Sorry, I had to pause it there for a second. I had the wrong video. But this is Oprah. You know, she's saying the same thing, the power of positive thinking, right? She's saying the same thing, and there's many paths to God. That's what Oprah said on her show before. And some little woman called her out and said, Jesus is the way, the only way. And she says there couldn't be one way. Well, this is exactly... You know, she's fallen for the same vain philosophies and she's a part of the deception. She says they will be deceived and they will continue to deceive others, okay, in the Bible. Look at this. So we've been growing these big fires all night long, burning down the coals, we shovel the wheelbarrows, and then we lay them across about 12 or 15 feet long for people to walk on. I go on the drummers on thing he said the tribal intensity he said everybody on the count of three the tribal intensity drummers on you know do you recognize what the drummers is you know like the tribes that, that do voodoo and stuff they always have the drum beat 
they always have like this is such a spiritual this is a ritual being being done disguised as the power of positive thinking become your own god you have your, your own power within you that you can walk on coals this is demonic <laughs> as, as funny as that sounds i understand how crazy that sounds but that's exactly what's taking place here all right this is the drummers on i mean this is it all it's all connected you don't have to be you know <laughs> a rocket scientist to figure out if you if you research the the customs and cultures and voodoo and all these other religions this is all this is all the 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 stuff that the bible warns about yes there's no way should be burned your feet should be burned but it's it, it doesn't burn them because it's this power of positive thinking it's because it's their the devil's deceiving them with lying signs and wonders okay that's that's what he does he has the ability to do that this is his world and so uh, you know a lot of magic and a lot of that is real all right is you know if you just watch some magic watch the spiritual world proves that magic is real on YouTube and you you can't deny it there's just too many things people are levitating you think that's all like camera angles and all that it's not but anyway this this video is getting kind of long I wanted to um, you know just you know reiterate you know this is Norman Vincent Peale is a Freemason right so what do they what do they do they control our thoughts with this false doctrine they, they control the world with you know this they're they're in Europe they're in Russia they're all over the place all right and he's he's teaching the power of positive thinking so you need to connect the dots it's not difficult if there's a Freemason teaching the power of positive thinking in disguising himself as a preacher you know they've infiltrated everything so you gotta really get in the, in the Bible yourself to find the truth because you don't know if your church is a part of it or not you know I go to church for the kids and all that and I still you know I think they do good work some of it but they don't teach the whole Bible and it's it worries me I you know I wouldn't want to be them I wouldn't want to someday be standing in front of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and be like well I didn't want to offend them I didn't want to teach that part of the Bible because they might think I'm crazy I, I wouldn't want to be that guy that's I don't want any part of that you know the Bible is the truth, and if you sugarcoat the truth, and if you allow people to fall for this deception, then, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you're guilty as well. You know, I want to speak 100% truth, no matter, no matter what. Am I perfect? Do I know everything? Absolutely not. But I've been putting, I'm putting together connections with I, what I believe is a Holy Spirit gift of knowledge. I honestly do. I, I'm not, I don't I wouldn't know any of this without the Holy Spirit leading me to information and I pray that it blesses you and I pray that um, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ I pray you do it while you still got air in your lungs God bless you